What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the desert. So we are currently doing a photo shoot. I'm here with Pavlina and Priya. I don't know if you remember her from my Singapore vlog a few, I want to say years ago, but we're just doing a cool photo shoot here in the desert. It is early morning, 6 a.m. right now. This was exit 55, the place is called. 25 minutes drive from the house. And yeah, just taking pictures, celebrating being crew, celebrating Priya being in Emirates. I'll post some pictures up of the finished product by Pavlina and obviously I'll throw her details down below. Give her a follow. She is really, really, really good. There's a guy flying a plane as well. Can you see that? Oh, where's the focus? Oh, it's gone. So we're just going to finish up here. As you can see by my face, it is super hot. I'm sweating. It doesn't help, obviously, that we're wearing a uniform. But yeah, um, I'll see you guys at home. <laughs> guys, we've made it to Sydney and walking into the room and picking up the camera has brought back a nice big smile on my face. This is the first layover I've done in April, May, June, July, four months, just over four months. So it's really difficult because I keep on having to ask myself like if I've forgotten something or especially when I was packing my suitcase, I was like, do I have it? Did I bring everything? But yeah, I'm actually really happy. I'm tired. I'm sure my face can, can show you that. But it wasn't because of I didn't sleep it was just because my brain I think was just working overtime trying to make sure everything was done correctly because I don't know sometimes when you're just out of it for so long it's just a bit um, nerve-wracking you're like oh but yeah it was successful nevertheless we had to wear masks and goggles and gloves and suits the whole flight so we were very well protected so too were the customers even walking through the airports, we actually had to wear gloves and masks. The first thing I did, by the way, though, is get rid of it as soon as I got to my room. I was like, I was done with that. The hotel has actually instructed us that we are not allowed to leave the room, let alone the hotel. Um, gyms are closed. There's no buffet breakfast. Everything is done by room service, which is, by the way, very limited, which is why I brought my own food. We have to be in self-quarantine or self-isolation quarantine in the room which kind of sucks we can't actually leave the hotel it's winter here it's 12 degrees right now so maybe i wasn't going to leave the room anyway especially where we're staying in sydney it's not really it's more it's closer to the hotel not really downtown but yeah we're just going to make the most of it of this first layover in such a long time i've actually got some work to do we have this course like i did tell you in a previous video a refresher course that i'm going to work on plus i'm studying something right now so i'm going to finish that as i always try to finish that and then i'm gonna well the layer was only 20 hours or 22 hours so it's not going to be much probably catch up some, some on some sleep and rest up for the next flight but yeah guys i'm excited but i'm also confused because i don't remember what i'm supposed to be doing i think let me show you let me show you my food so this is the food that I am working with. I just went to Carrefour yesterday before the flight and got some hummus and then the tabbouleh underneath. That's like a salad, parsley salad. And then we've got Arabic bread, of course, with that. Guys, I hate cup noodles, but there's actually one that I do like. It's the spicy one over here. So I've got that, these ramen noodles. And if you ever want to have digestives, you have to have the dark chocolate one. Mmm, mmm. Then we have a whole lot of that. Then I've got a bottle of water, obviously. And then I've just bought a protein shake just because in case I want to add some protein. As you can see, my diet isn't the greatest, so I might as well have that. And then I've also got two of these instant oatmeal. What, what flavor is this? This is the maple and brown sugar. And this is the apple and cinnamon. Sorry about the shadows. But yeah, I think for now, I'm okay. I might not eat anything here. But what I want to do quickly is sanitize the room. I've got these, where did I leave them in my pocket? These antibacterial wipes that I just want to, can you see it? 
Anyway, I'm going to use these now and just sanitize areas that I think that I'm going to have a lot of access to just to keep... I'm not saying that the hotels are doing a good job, but I just want to be extra safe, especially also considering it's my first flight and I just want to play it safe, like I said. So I'm just going to wipe all those areas down and then let's see what else I get up to. I actually forgot to tell you, it's my birthday today. Well, I did tell you in a few videos, I just didn't tell you when. But today is my birthday, so I'm going to quickly go and talk to the family. We can go together. Mine is just more manly. Let's see it. I love these biscuits, guys. I'm currently on the computer. Lying in bed, I'm doing this e-learning. It says 380 refresher course that I told you guys about when I did my roster reveal. If I do it now, I'm saving from doing it in Dubai, so at least I get to spend more time with Priya, for example, rather than being doing this. They schedule you a day on your roster to do it, but they do load it earlier, so you can do it if you want at your ease, basically, which is fantastic. So just as long as it gets done. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm lying in bed or sitting in bed and then it is now eight minutes past uh, two in the morning local time, but eight minutes past eight Dubai time. So it's not actually too late. I might as well just stay awake for a bit, get as much work done as possible, and then sleep late, wake up late. Sorry, guys. Sleep late, wake up late, and then um, see what happens tomorrow. So do some work, have a shower and I will see you guys in the morning. So I'm awake now. I slept for a good 11 hours, solid. You know when you wake up sometimes with a headache because you slept so much? That is definitely the case for me. It's dark outside, so uh, I can't show you the view. It wasn't much of a view, but it's just a few other buildings. Um, I'm not gonna do much now. I think I might just have some oats that I bought, just hot water and mix that up and have that nothing too fancy and then uh, start getting ready to go to work and we're done guys so we need to head downstairs now not very exciting for you i understand but this is as good as it gets um at least for the foreseeable future this is how layovers are going to be because obviously we aren't allowed to leave the room so it's a lot of uh, personal time which is fine I, I managed to catch up on things and then I get to spend more time with Priya in Dubai, like I said earlier. Um, if you have any ideas for videos, just please comment down below. So yesterday on the flight, I met a crew, uh, Zamer from Uzbekistan. And he actually, before joining Emirates, he used to watch my video. So he recognized me and he said hi and told me his whole story. And it's very nice like to hear that he said it was very helpful. I mean, obviously everything I do is not going to be helpful, but a bit of it is, which makes me smile and makes me feel good. So if there is any aspiring cabin crew out there and you want to see content that might help you, just let me know and I'll see if I can make a video about it, you know. Um, in the next coming weeks, I'm going to try and do a Q&A video though. So if you do have any questions that need to be answered or you'd like clarified, please just comment down below and I'll try and do that. Otherwise, I'm going to put my mask on, put my gloves on, I'm going to head downstairs and I will see you guys next week.